Yo, what's up guys? So welcome to part four of my playthrough through the journey to the savage planet. And so now we got the proton tether and we got the jump thruster. So I'm gonna just gonna go through the landing site area and just pick up some of the orange goo and alien alloy that I can grab now with those two things. Now that the repairs are underway, let's start exploring. As stated in employee handbook section 23498YA, you must catalog the flora and fauna of this planet, explore it in its entirety, and report back on its potential suitability for human settlement. At this point, we are unsure of the specific obstacles you will face, but the more data you provide to Kindred through your scanning tools, the more appropriate bloopers we'll be able to send you. On behalf of everyone at Kindred, both biological and autonomous, we wish you good luck. The cartographers have identified a series of very unusual structures at the core of this planet. While our earlier data indicated a rogue planet, this now appears to be incorrect. This is a radical mission-altering discovery, and while you must continue to catalog the planet, Kindred requests that you pay extra attention to anything that appears unnatural or constructed. I have placed a marker at a point of particular interest to our scientists. Alright, so we officially got the mission to investigate the tower. I'm going to speed up the video because I'm just traveling. Back to the uh, towering crystals teleportation spot. And I'm just going to pick up uh, some alien alloy on the way. And then right here on this spot, you couldn't access this before, but now that you got the double jump, the jump thrusters, make sure you uh, remember to grab that orange goo hidden up there. And there's going to be alloy right here now that you got the double jump. And we also got upgraded to the supercharged shot. I just used it right there just to show you. So you can double jump your way up here now, and there's going to be alloy. Just make sure you take out these plants that are a pain in the ass. So what you got to do to get this alloy is, is easy. Um, you'll see more of these set up, this set up uh, later in the game. You just gotta shoot three of these uh, kind of like pulsating eyeballs, the yellow. Uh, just make sure you scan the uh, the little vault plant and scan the, uh, the the vine with the little eyeball on it here. And then you shoot all three, and then it's gonna release the alloy. And so later on in the game, you're gonna see more of these and those little little eyeballs are going to be really well hidden though so you're going to have to search all around the area to find it and then orange goo up there don't worry about that now you're not going to be able to reach it until you get like the triple jump and then like the uh, the big jump where you get like a you get like a jetpack it gives you like a big super jump like, like like your boba fett and so i'm going to make my way to the towering crystals teleportation spot and now we got the proton tether. We can climb up to that new area and grab all the shit up there. I forgot to scan that. And there's a little orange goo right here I missed. There's a bunch in the area. I'm going to edit out a lot of the uh, exploring for the orange goo and stuff around here. Because they just make the video like two hours long. And there was an alpha bird over there. Alpha puffer bird. So make sure you scan that guy. And... They're different because they can explode. So if you kick one or shoot it, it'll explode. So you can take out a group of enemies with that. There's that stupid Babuski again. So I'm going to go after it again because I did slap it, but I didn't scan all three variations. I think I just got the first one. So I'm going to go back and make sure I scan them for the uh, Kindex. They're just a pain in the ass to uh, track down. So in this video, I'm going to get the... Um, the upgrade for the bomber granite, <laughs> and then uh, we're gonna have the first boss fight right before we get it. So I was talking about it in the last video. When you get the bomber granite, you could open up all those walls with the little fissure in them. You could throw it, and then it'll explode the the, uh, the door open for you. All right, so there I, I finally got them. So I'm gonna make my way to. You can't reach that quite yet. Almost. I think if I got a springy sack, I, I could probably get that, but. I was just trying to rush through. Alright, and you see those little um, barnacle looking things on the wall? That's where you throw the plant seeds, and then now that you got the proton tether, you could uh, grapple up using that. This would be a great time to whip out that grapple tool. Alright, so right now, 
I'm just gonna grapple up. And this is gonna take me to a new, to a new area. You just basically kind of go left, right, left, right. So you wanna grapple up and just look around for the next, uh, the next little uh, anchor point. Pretty easy. And like I said, I'm gonna get up here, explore around for a while, go back to the ship. We're gonna and then use all my upgrades all the alien alloy to upgrade uh, everything I can we're gonna get the four science mission that I've been talking about where you could uh, do the challenges to get access to more upgrades I'm detecting a nearby source of fuel that might help us with our get out of here eventually problem if you can scan it and tag it one of the cartographers can lug it back to the ship for you so we're going to pick up our first thing of fuel right here. There's 10 pieces of fuel that you can pick up in the game, but you only need 5 for the mission. Oh good! We're not going to be stranded on this hell planet after all! You found what looks like to be a fuel cell from somewhere inside the tower. No idea how it got here exactly, but it's a perfect fuel source for the javelin. I'll dispatch a cartographer to extract it. So I was planning on doing the getting all the fuel, getting five things of fuel, and then uh, just heading home early before the missions are done, because you get two achievements. You get the uh, beating the game in under four hours achievement, and this, the uh, screw this noise achievement. The seeds you just picked up appear to belong to the limpid-like plants we saw earlier. I wonder what they grow on. And I'm pretty sure when, when you do that, you could just come back and pick up where you left off so it's not like you have to start all over it'll just uh, give you like a new cutscene with the uh, the CEO of the company you work for like real pissed off at you and then you just spawn back onto your ship and you just continue where you are pretty sure we'll see alright so we're gonna grapple up to here but I'm not gonna go all the way up yet I'm gonna kinda go off to the side and I'm gonna run into a new enemy it's not really an enemy actually it's just it's almost like a little puzzle. Um, this It's like a green cube that has one of those alien alloys. And you have to figure out how to get it out of them. And I'll show you how. Nice little view. Good spot for a photo. So there it is down there. You can see it. So I'm going to jump down. Scan it. Slap it. And what you got to do to get the alloy out of it is you gotta kick it towards the health plant, the vitality plants, and then you gotta shoot the vitality plant, and then it'll gobble up those little seeds it drops. And then after like, I think three of them, it'll just explode. And then that's and then the uh, alloy will pop out along with all the health that it ate. So just line it up, and you wanna kick it back to where you came from. Make sure you give it a good kick there. Try not to get it off to the side because down there is going to be two of the uh, those pike manders. That, those are pain in the ass guys that we uh, ran into in the last video. So you see the vitality plants, just shoot it, and once it's close enough, it'll just start moving towards it on its own and it'll just suck them up. You see it going. And I think there's like three of them in the game. I don't really remember. There's not a lot. I know the, there's one later later in the game that you have to move it pretty far to get it near a vitality plant. You just have to have patience and just keep kicking it till you see a, see a plant. So after we get this guy, I'm going to head back to the ship. I'm going to edit it. I, I went back and I was grabbing a lot of orange goo, a lot of, not a lot, but a few of the alien alloys in the landing zone area. And then I went back to the ship, upgrade it. And then I came back to this area. So remember this area, because I'm going to edit out um, the traveling. And I'm just going to come back here. And then we're going to continue to climb up. Alright, so it was at two, two plants. This is the third. And you can tell it gets bigger as it eats, so you can see when it's about to blow. There you go. And then just make sure you pick up the alloy. Alright, so I'm going to head back to the ship. I'm going to get the four science mission I was telling you about. And we're going to do some upgrades. Good news! Kendra's happy with your work so far. 
and they decided to reward you with more work. Because capitalism. They've sent along some experiments, which you can tackle at your leisure. They've also added a brand new live sample tool to your 3D printer at no extra cost. Who says Kindred doesn't love you? Alright, so we got the live sampler now so we could do those missions. So you just got to use that on the Babuska creature, the one that splits into two, then the three. The Pike Mander um, that rolls at you, monster. And I think a Puffer Bird? I'm not sure. Yeah, Puffer Bird. Alright, so we're going to get the better utility belt so you can carry more of the grob and all the different uh, pickups. And then we have the live sampler, and then it's a faster reload. And then we're going to go right, I'm going to go right back to the area we were in. I'm just going to edit out the traveling. And then we're going to head up to the next level. It's going to be a new teleportation area. And then we're going to run into the first boss. And there's only three boss fights in the game. Um, there's some tough enemies that are in like the end of certain areas, but... The, Officially, there's three boss fights. I wish there was a couple more. They are pretty good. Um, nothing crazy, but they're a nice little touch. Like I was saying, it's only a $30 game, so you can't expect them to go to go all out. Alright, so we're going to grapple up. Um, right around the corner here, hidden, is a little anchor point, so make sure you don't miss it. And this is where we're going to use those grappling seeds on those little barnacle holes that you see sitting all around the map. And they're real easy. You just throw them at the, uh, that area, and it'll sprout out a little anchor point for you. And even if you didn't have any uh, of the grappling seeds, they got two, two plants of them up here anyway, so you're good. Don't throw grub. It doesn't work. And that was the live sampler I've been talking about. You've seen it there with a little question mark on it. So just go left, right left right back and forth try to go a little higher each time and with a double jump it shouldn't be too hard Oop. get pretty high quick and right there Bam. so this is the next area so look for new stuff to scan and slap that's the uh, the cliffs of Mount Gazarfin teleportation spot and like I was saying before even if you're not going to use the teleporter just activate it so if you if you want to come back to this area, you can. And we're gonna run into some armored puffer birds or stone armor puffer birds. So make sure you scan them, slap them. But just when you slap them, just get the, get the hell out of there because you're gonna aggro them. And then when they start attacking, they're a pain in the ass because you can't kill them unless you hit them with the uh, there's there's blight bombs, which we haven't really seen yet. It's gonna be like these green grenades that are like acid. And they can melt the armor, and then you could kill them. But right now, I don't think you could do anything to them. And there's gonna be an alpha puffer bird here too. So if you wanna, if you didn't scan any of the ones before, you can get this one. And there's gonna be a door over here that we could blow up with these bombagranites. And it's close enough to where we don't need the upgrade. We could just pick it up, and you'll have enough time to throw it. But right after we beat the boss, we're gonna get the upgrade for the bombagranite, so you don't have to worry about. You could go back to all those doors we saw uh, before we ran into the meteor crater. There was like four or five doors that you could blow up. Uh, just clear out the grass, like I always say. There's usually a one of these orange goos hidden in these in these uh, like little reddish grass. And the boss is going to be back into the front of the lava. Once I clear out this stuff, we'll head up. So after I'm done doing my replay of this. I'm going to try to upload everything, and I was going to pick up the, the zombie army game, but it kind of looked cheap and repetitive. Not much of a story. I'm more of a story game player, like single player with a good story. I'm not really into co-op or multiplayer. That depends on a good internet connection. I get, too, I get too fucking pissed. I used to play Call of Duty all the time, and I just get fired up when I'd be in the zone, and then fucking lag happens. To get too angry, but I always love a good story, even if the graphics aren't great. If it's got a good story, I don't care. So I'll, I'll probably pass on the zombie army. It's already out anyway, so it's probably been uploaded to death. Because like I was saying before, it's dead as shit. 
for any like real games. So a ton of people have been uploading this game that probably wouldn't if there was other bigger games out. So I was hoping that they wouldn't because I was looking forward to this game. But then I seen a bunch of big YouTubers playing it just because there's nothing else to do. And I don't do this, you know, full time. I just played it. I just upload the games that I want to play. I don't make myself play games that I'm not interested in just for the, just for something to do. I should almost the silicone vein. So then the Metro DLC was. I thought it was coming out February 11th, but then they posted something. That but that's actually the the uh, premiere of the trailers date, not the DLC date. So I got confused there. So I had it. I was ready to go next Tuesday to play it but it looks like they're just gonna drop the trailer so maybe I'll upload the trailer uh, with some commentary it's gonna be Sam's story so it's gonna take place after the events of the game which is really cool and we're gonna see him uh, in like a solo DLC alright so right up here you see that don't fall into the lava obviously I was trying to supercharge get my supercharge ready alright so here we go here's the first boss I love crustaceans especially All right, so this guy's not really hard particularly. He can be annoying. You just have to time these attacks. It's either duck or jump. And usually, if he throws one where you got to jump, the next one's going to be one where you got to duck. I do kind of a bad job of... I, I try to anticipate what it's going to be, and I kind of mess up. But you got two health trees right here, so if you start getting low on health, you could just go to them. And obviously, you got to shoot the little orange bulbs on little sticks there. And then you can see every time one explodes, it, it takes off a chunk of his health. Like right that. And then once you take out a section of him, he just regrows some more for you. And then when you see him kind of shoot uh, a projectile out of his mouth, just get out of that area because it's going to engulf that platform with, uh, is it lava or fire? Just try to lock on to these little bulbs when you start shooting with the left trigger. See, when you see him getting ready to shoot up, get out of the way. Not sh shoot, shoot up. And like I said, here's the health tree. So if you get low on health, just go back here. And I think they refilled themselves too. So you could use them a couple times. So he's already almost dead. See, this could have this could actually be a really hard boss fight. So I'll, I'll be interested to try it on hard to see how much harder it really is. Because if he's throwing these project projectiles there's projectiles faster and more aggressive and even if he was like jumping from platforms it would actually be a problem but he's already almost dead just take your time line up your shots and just keep moving and it's not too hard see like I'm and trying to anticipate and I I jumped and when I should have ducked and I ducked when I should have jumped so one more So I'm just being safe, just grabbing some vitality. Get a little closer. You're not gonna hit him from back there. And with this guy, I already scanned him, so you can't really slap him when you're fighting him. But when you beat a boss, their body stays there, so you can slap it afterwards. So hopefully, it still counts. So his dead body will stay. So if you didn't scan it, don't worry. You could come back and scan the body after he after you beat him. I think I'm trying to be fancy and get a supercharged shot off for the last shot. And it's just, it just didn't work. Boom. So when he dies, he opens up, he breaks open that door. And that door is actually scannable, so make sure you grab it. Ah, die, giant crab beast. Nice work. Press on, no. brave adventurer. No. Alright, so go through the broken door. Make sure you slap the dead body. And like I was saying, these. You, you could scan the broken pieces of that door. I was just lining up for a photo for my thumbnail right there. Edited it, edited it out though. And then right beyond here is going to be the bomb and granite shrine. And we can take that back to the ship for the upgrade. And before I go back to the ship, I'm going to show you a little bit of the next area. I'm going to scan the first alien little tablet. 
My temperature sensors are picking up a molten liquid nearby. If you analyze it, we may be able to craft an upgrade to your gauntlet. this warm goo, you can upgrade your gauntlet to handle objects of any temperature. Alright, just pick up a bomb of granite to blow open this door. It's going to lead us to the broken bridge area, which leads to the tower. But we can't get into the tower right now. We have to come back after we get all the upgrades. And we'll be back there at the very end of the game. So right now we're just going to go to the right, where a teleportation spot is. Across that obstantaneously dramatic bridge lies the entrance to the tower. We've got no idea what to expect in there, but that's where we're headed. And not right now, obviously. We don't have the right stuff, but soon. Assuming you stay alive. Analyzing the data that you have recovered, I can find no easy way to open the door from this location. That said, I am detecting various connections to devices and systems high above your current location. I am adjusting your compass to reflect this new information. New messages are waiting for you at the oh. Javelin. This appears to be another transportation device. I'm not detecting any threat to your person, so I advise waiting for the process to complete. Alright, so I'm not going to go back to the ship just yet. I'm going to head on to the new area. And I'm going to show you where you can pick up the first alien transmission. It's going to be these little tablets. They're usually going to be, it's going to say secret nearby, and you're going to have to find it. But this one's out in the open, just because it's the first one. Alright, so like I was saying, new area. Make sure you scan all the new plants. This is that that blight plant I was telling you about, that you would have to use to melt the armor on those stone puffer birds. And just like the bombogranate, it's going to have three. It's going to have the big plant, the teen, little small one, and then you're going to have the baby one. So make sure you scan all three. You need all three for the Kindex. Alright, just grab the silicone around back. And then head up here, and you'll see this the alien tablet right out in the open. And then we could take that back to the ship, and we could watch the first video. Fascinating. I am detecting elements of an ancient transmission from within the tower that seems to be localized within these tablets. My initial assessment is, it is some kind of video codec. If you could find more of these, I will continue to decode and store them. This new information is fascinating. I am cross-referencing it with our database of alien languages and attempting translation. I have also added a new folder to your desktop on the Javelin's computer. You can check out the results there at your leisure. Alright, so now we go back to the ship and we're going to have some videos to watch, so I'll just uh, be quiet for the videos. Across the known universe, we have tens, perhaps hundreds of tens of explorers turning over rocks, documenting the local fauna, and uploading vast amounts of data for the Kindred Science Team. That's what I'm talking about. We assume a failure and or death rate of 15% across our various endeavors. So the fact that you're alive and receiving this message brings a warm glow to the hearts of the entire Kindred Team. Bingo! We've got a winner! We would also like to take a moment to highlight Puff Puff Pasta 79. Not only has he stayed alive, but he's contracted this. <laughs> wow. Now, it may look painful, but this could hold the secret to curing some illnesses which continue to haunt our species, such as herpes simplex or rogue limb. So, good luck to you, Puff Puff Pasta 79. But enough chit-chat. Our analysis of which planets offer the best potential future home for humanity continues. And we have you to thank for it. 
Keep exploring! Nobody works in here? Hi, yeah, good to see you again, yes. I hope you're doing well, and thank you for your continued dedication. I'll keep it simple. The data you've gathered so far has set off an automated alarm in our system. We're not entirely sure why just yet, but inside that tower that you've discovered is something of immense potential. Get inside, find out what it is, and bring it back. There's a huge reward waiting for you if you do. Good luck. Bad thoughts? Wipe them. Ill feelings? Wipe them. Tragic memories? Wipe them. Wipe them all away with BrainWipe's disposable neural restimulation membrane. Just insert into one orifice and pull out the other. Do let our nano IntelliWeave fibers do the rest. I'm disgusting. Moisturizes as it soothes, great for dry brains or stressful gatherings. This sucks. Brain wipes intelligently navigates the interior sectors of your brain, removing any thoughts of malcontent, putting you back on the track to a positive outlook. Wipe away your worries with Brain Wipes emotional disinfected smart tissues. Available in happy, apathetic, and sociopath. All right. So after the video, make sure you go to your computer. You can check out your po new postcards if you want first. Well, you're gonna see we got the new alien transmission. You got some new emails, and then we're gonna go to the upgrades, and we're also gonna look at the Kindex. I'll show you all the animals that we already scanned. It's already a huge percentage of them that we captured just in the first area, and then I'm gonna upgrade the pomegranate, and I'm gonna upgrade. I'm gonna try to upgrade the visor, but I don't. I don't have enough um, silicone right now, so I have to come back later. So here's the first transmission. Once you collect them all, it'll put them all together in one video. And it kind of gives you the background of what happened on the planet before you got there. And the history of the tower. So here's all the uh, creatures we scanned. Like I was saying, we, we got a pretty good amount already. And so we're just going to get the pomegranate upgrade. And we'll have to come back for the visor upgrade. But that's it for this part. I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Stay alive, and see you soon.